everywhere, in Hong Kong, in, in China, in, in Macau. So in Macau, they can talk about gambling, but in, in China, they talk about financial services, they talk about forex, commodities, and, and brokerage, stock trading. In mainland China, they are movie, movie business. They also have Sun City uh, real estate investment companies. So uh, in the West, people, you know, I, I lived in the US for 15 years, people say that, oh, you have to have a niche. Uh, you, what's your core business? Stay with your niche. But here in Asia is that you have to go broad, multi-dimensional. If you only stay with your niche, you're not gonna get anywhere. So uh, you leverage your, your brand uh, and, and you expand into every market, into every business, and becomes a wealth management company. I think that's the future of the gaming business for VIP clubs like us. Uh, we are going that direction. Uh, wealth management, whether you're going to London, to US, to Australia, Southeast Asia, uh, you come with us. We'll, 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 we'll charter the jets for you. We'll serve you. Uh, we'll, you want to buy houses, we'll, we'll, we'll serve you. You want to play, that's good. So we, that's what we are doing, I think. You know, with, with Henshin, we're doing about uh, 70 billion Hong Kong dollars monthly revenue, rolling revenue. And, and in London, now we're expanding internationally. So uh, we're just following uh, the, the, the uh, trend of, of the VIPs, because more, more, we see more and more VIPs, they are looking for more than just gambling. They're, they want tourism, they want to learn something, the culture, they want to do investment and, and, and immigration. Uh, they want to send their kids uh, to fancy schools abroad, so so we are we are there to serve them. So, so, so probably what I th what we're hearing then it would be fair to say that if we want proxy betting in a modern sense to come into Macau, it's probably down to people like Henshing or Sun City to push the agenda. Uh, well, for us, we don't push anything. So the customer wants something. They want London, we, we give them London. They want proxy, they want telephone, we give them telephone. So <laughs> uh, we, we rather that they come here in person. Do you get a lot of feedback from customers wanting proxy? Uh, yeah, like I said, normally it's because they, uh, they've been in Macau and, and they, they, maybe they got addicted or something. They, they want to play catch up and, and they, they felt that they have uh, better luck in a certain place, they have better feng shui from their office, then they call up. They feel strong that day. So uh, a lot of times it's just the visa restriction that they can't come in in person. Mm. Well, yeah, as you know, the, the, the casino operators take a lot of stock in what their main agents ask of them. So I probably feel that my feeling is that that's where the, that's where the agenda will come from. It will come from the major junket operators here in Macau having a lot of requests from good players who would normally come, but for whatever reason, as you say, cannot visit. And um, if there is a sophisticated product available to them, whether what we've been talking about, the trust factor and the fact that it's a Macau operation, then I think that could be a big part of any agent's any agent's business, and particularly from a financing point of view, because it's got to be a lot easier, right, from a financing point of view, if the player himself is not even here, he's just dealing through the one agent that um, is a trusted, a trusted agent, you know, with, with a group like your, 